Okay. Hi, everyone. So, my phone is right next to my face, so I don't think I need to use my mic. So, if the sound is a little different for this video, then that's why. It's just right next to my face. Um, as you can see, I am almost finished with Quaker Pumpkins. I don't have that much left to do. I have a little bit of this top border to do. I have to bring up the side border and I have this one last motif in here, which is what I'm trying to do right now. I also am trying to decide, let me see if I can show you. There's a bird that goes right here in the chart, but because I am getting rid, or because I did not stitch the words at the bottom, the bird no longer really fits in my opinion, so I'm trying to decide what to do. My last two colors of the chart, <laughs> um, is simply, or er, General Arts uh, Sampler Threads Carriage Black, and then Weeks Dye Works Carolina Cecil. Obviously, I do not have much left, but um, these are the strands that I'm using right now. So, oh crap, I had, hold on, I had something. I wrote down some things to talk about, <laughs> and um, they are just different questions for you all to get to know me. So, I have 15 questions, and once I'm done answering the questions, then I'll end the video. Um, because I never know what to talk about in these videos. I've mostly been doing my life updates on here, but the big ones you already kind of know. Um, my miscarriage that happened a month ago. Um, we had our pre-construction meeting for our house that should be finished at the, either the end of this year or the beginning of next year, so in four or five months and signed off on everything, made sure that the builder knew where everything, uh, like electrical and stuff was gonna go, and that's about it. Um... I don't feel like there's a lot going on. Um, I did talk a little bit about, sorry, just letting the thread drop. Uh, I did talk a little bit about going to the company that I work for, going to their convention. Um, where they announced their new products for the year and all that. And that was a lot of fun. I worked a lot, but it was a lot of fun. And yeah, I think that's about it. Um, I did have some ideas for extra videos, um, in the future, just with, I'm 
sorry, I'm trying to make sure that I am counting correctly. Okay, so I did have some ideas for future videos. Um, I did an office slash craft room tour around Christmas time, I think. And in the next couple of months, I'm going to be getting everything ready to move. And so I thought that it might be kind of fun, um, even if it's just for my own personal record and no one watches it, to do one last final tour of my craft room because I have changed some things up since the one that I recorded and it would be kind of fun to be able to go back and look at how I had everything set up in this house before I go and have a brand new setup in the next house. Um, see what else. Um, I've thought about a few different things, so we'll see which ones actually happen. Let's get on to the questions. Um, if you have any strong thoughts about videos that are not Stitch With Me's or Floss Tube videos, let me know. But sometimes I think it's kind of fun to watch different things. So, anyway. Let's get started with the questions. All right, number one, what was your favorite subject in school? And I am going to go through grade school, junior high, high school, and then uh, college or university. So in grade school, my favorite was probably social studies, um, which was kind of, history, I guess. And in junior high, I was on a ballroom team for my junior high, and I had to take my dance class. Um, I don't know if that was my favorite, but it got me out of PE, so that was nice. And what else? Oh, high school. Um, and these are, I'm saying these, um, not including like my TA period, so my teacher's aid period, my office aid period, or my library aid. But if I had to pick between any of those, I really liked library aid. And I, in my junior high, you were only able to be a teacher's aide or an office aide if you were um, in eighth grade. but you were able to be a library aide even in seventh grade. We only had two grades in my junior high. And so I was able to do my library aid my seventh grade year, which was really fun. And I'm sorry if you can hear my loud neighbors who have a really noisy truck that they always park right in the way. There have been multiple times where I've come home from work and I can't even get into my garage because 
They have their big truck parked in the middle of the road. And it takes up more than half of the road because we live in townhomes. We don't have like an entire street or entire driveways. And they don't even, sorry, and they don't even pull up onto their tiny driveway at all. When I have to do that because I'm parking for like five minutes where I just have to run in and grab something, I always make sure that I at least pull onto my tiny driveway a little bit, which apparently they call them aprons. Anyway, um, high school, my favorite was probably history or um, American Sign Language was my foreign language, so I did that for two and a half years. I never finished year three. It just kind of got to be a lot, but unfortunately that meant that I never got my sign name, which was a little sad. But, I love my teacher. She was great. Um, she was deaf, which meant that she could give us sign, sign names. And that's kind of one of the only reasons I wish I would have stuck around for it. And because I feel like I would probably remember more now, but I don't have anyone to practice with, so... That's a little sad. Um, okay. And then in college. I was a psychology major, so I loved all of my psychology classes, but outside of that... I took criminal profiling my very last semester of school and I loved it. I also took um, intro to forensic science so I learned how to look at handwriting and analyze it. I learned how to look at blood spatter and blood splatter. I l learned how to identify tread on tires and shoes. Um, I loved that class. That one was really fun, even though I only did it online. But I still liked it a lot. And yeah. The more that I look at my last couple years of school, or mostly my last year actually, where I realized I probably should have just changed my major <laughs> and done criminal justice, but then those classes wouldn't have been as fun, right? Did they close? Oh, they did. Their garage is a lot quieter than mine sometimes. Okay. Favorite drink? Um, most of you should know this by my channel name, but it is Dr. Pepper. Sometimes I will choose Mountain Dew over Dr. Pepper if I'm going the soda route. Um, I, my family always mixed grape powder and lemonade powder when I was growing up and we made grape lemonade. So if I am making like a crystal light or something, then that's one of my favorite flavors for that. Or peach lemonade. Um, I really like chai tea. Uh, chai lattes, iced, I don't like them hot, and anything else? 
Not that I can think of. That's about it. Because I don't drink alcohol. So. Alright. Favorite song at the moment. I found a new comfort movie. And whenever I say the title, everyone gives me a weird look. And they look at me like, how is that a comfort movie? It's called The Hating Game. It's on Hulu. Lucy Hale is in it. She plays Arya in Pretty Little Liars. Um, there's a song in that movie and I found it on Spotify and it's been on repeat and it's called This Is How You Fall In Love. So, I would say that's my favorite song at the moment. Favorite food. I really love cheeseburgers. Um, but I also really love a good steak or a good pasta. Last thing that I bought, uh, the last thing that I purchased was, let's see, I bought dinner tonight, but the last cool thing that I got was, um, an item for my Halloween costume. I am going to be Louise from Bob's Burgers, <laughs> and I'm so excited. <laughs> Um, so I bought a hat and I bought her Coochie Kobe green toy thing, so that'll be good. Okay, favorite color. My favorite color is Periwinkle, like my favorite color of all time, but obviously there are times where I gravitate towards different colors. Favorite perfume? I don't know if I have one. I subscribed to Scentbird, which is they send you travel sizes of perfumes, um, which usually gives you about a month's worth of sprays. And I found some that I really like on there. And that I did buy, like, big bottles of. But... I have a few. I do like more of the... For I really like... In candles, I really like the scent of amber and a little bit more woodsy. For my perfume, I like them to be a little bit more floral and um, a little lighter, I guess. Favorite holiday? Probably 4th of July or Christmas. I really like even though I have seasonal depression, even though I have seasonal depression, when the days are really gloomy and the snow lo no longer looks white and perfect, I really love, nothing for me beats a waking up on Christmas morning with fresh powder on the grass <laughs> and just seeing all of the trees with all of the snow on the branches. I love it. Have you ever been out of the country? Yes, I have. My dad's family is Canadian and he still has family that lives there. Um, 
So I went to Canada a lot growing up. I went basically every summer um, for my honeymoon. I went to Antigua in the Caribbean. And right after our honeymoon, we went to Mexico. But I cannot tell you how many times I've been out of the country because of how many times we went to Canada while I was growing up. Do you speak any other language? I kind of hinted in this in my favorite subject, but I can moderately speak sign language, American sign language. How many siblings do I have? I have two siblings. Um, favorite movie? So I did mention that I just found a new comfort movie, but favorite movie of all time is The Italian Job with Mark Wahlberg and Jason Statham and who else is in it? You know what I'm talking about though. Um, favorite TV show or TV shows? Um, Bob's Burgers is a good one, which I had never really liked adult animation, adult cartoons, before watching Bob's Burgers. Um, The Office with Steve Carell, Corner Gas, which is a Canadian TV show, it takes place in Saskatchewan, um, News Radio... of Seinfeld, Cheers, I like all of the older shows, and then right now I'm currently watching Pretty Little Liars. I got pretty far through it, I think, back when it was on Netflix a while ago, and but I never finished it, so... I decided that I should rewatch it, and I think I'm on season two. And then, can you cook? Favorite thing to cook? I can cook. I prefer that my husband does the cooking. I just don't feel comfortable. Or confident. I don't feel confident in the kitchen with entrees. Um, mostly meat entrees. But if it's pasta or something like that, then I'm totally fine. But I really like cooking sides. And one of my favorite sides to do is asparagus or broccoli or um, oven roasted potatoes. Sorry. And am I a morning or a night person? I'm very much a night person. I feel like I'm doing this wrong, <laughs> because I am. Um, yes, I'm a night person. I don't like waking up early. I don't like mornings. I'm trying to be better about it. Um... I like doing most things at night, and I guess
guess you're gonna watch me take all of this out. Hopefully you can hear me okay. If you can't, then obviously this video won't get posted, but um, if you can, then I'll post it. Alright, well, since I figured all of that out, I think okay we have three and a half minutes until we hit 30 minutes so I'll probably try to hit 30 even though I'm done with all the questions I need to go count I wasn't even counting and I got it. Um, are there any good TV shows that I should watch? When I'm at work, I am able to listen to TV shows or Boston videos or podcasts or books or whatever just because I'm basically surfing the internet all day. Um... So if you have any recommendations, let me know. Audiobooks are always good too, especially because I can speed them up. And sometimes I can listen to a whole book in a day, which has been nice. I've been able to knock out some of my reading goals with that. And... Yeah, not a whole lot to it, so I'm going My dogs are in here, so you probably have heard them a little bit. No, go where you're going. Sit down. No, Max. Sit down. Thank you. Okay. We are about to hit 30 minutes, so... I think I am going to just... 
sign off right here. Hopefully, the next time you see this ooh, on a video, it will be finished. But I am going to work on getting this knot out of my thread. I think I caught it early enough that I'll be able to get it out. Hopefully. But that's what we got done today. Not a whole lot during the stitch with me, but that's usually how it goes. I hope you got a lot of stitching done during this stitch with me. And or tell me what you were doing while watching or listening if you were or weren't stitching. Anyway, I will see you in my next video in a week or so, and I hope you remember that someone always needs you. Bye guys.